something okay. about an article. I, you know how everybody always thought, like, on the Big Bang Theory, that, like, the, the, the those boys, like, the, <laughs> the nerdy boys were the smart ones? What are you telling me about the Big Bang Theory? Because you know how, like, I think everybody always thought, like, the boys are, like, they're the smart ones. And then there's the one girl one who's named Penny, and she's not as smart as them. It's, like, the that's supposed to be part of the thing. Why are you telling me this? Because I read this article about it, but it turns out Penny's actually smarter than them. <laughs> And nobody saw that coming. What? And there were several times that Why this happened. Why did you read an article about the Big Bang I read an theory? article about like 10 times that Penny was smarter than the boys on the Bing Bang Theory. The, sorry, did you say <laughs> Bing Bang? <laughs> you say Bing Bang. Hey, Justin. Hey, Justin, can I tell you one thing real quick? Um, do you know on Gossip lunch. on Gossip Girl, there were a bunch of times that Serena was like a really bad person. You've never other watched people. No, but I read this list about all these times where she like, like you... she took Blair's spot in Yale. I didn't even know you could take somebody's admission to a college. Like, how do you even you're, do that? You're mortal. Like, you realize you have a finite amount she of time on this planet and you're Blair's spending it reading about art articles about things you've never watched. Clothes, even though like she knew Blair wanted to. And I think she maybe like tried to... <laughs> there are emails like, that I know you have not returned. Without There's emails knowing. you haven't returned. There's work you could be doing, and you're reading listicles just, about I, Gossip Girl. It sounds like Serena might have been a like a bad person. I don't know who Serena is. I don't know Gossip Girl, and you don't either. That's what I, irritates me. Gossip, Gossip Girl was named Dan. So now you're just spoiling Gossip Girl. Sorry. Wow. I hope you're proud of yourself. Hey, Justin. I wanted to tell you something. Um, <laughs> you did you know that? One. I know, but did you know that Wheel of Fortune? has a crossword um, feature now on the show. You and already that, did one today. There was a guy, um, a lot of people on Twitter were mad because there was this guy. I just want to finish the movie. I know, <laughs> but there was this guy, um, his name is David Peterson, and he solved this puzzle, and it was like a, I think it was like a fish themed Oh, I know, I heard, actually, you know what, I knew like this. It was about I knew this, you actually don't need that. I knew this already. I actually knew this. And there was a catfish thing, but he said and when knew, he solved it. I knew this. And you don't get to, um, I know. You don't get to win if you add a word. He just said and to indicate that that was the other word. And a lot of people on Twitter were mad about it. I'm going to delete your TikTok and you'll never find it again. You'll never figure out how to I just read it. about how mad everyone I was. I guarantee you don't know your password. But this was a big thing. Hey, can I tell you this one thing first though you real quick, Justin? Go I'm going to go shower. But first, um, do you know in the um, Pirates of the Caribbean movies, you know, it's really crazy that, that um, Captain Jack Sparrow was supposed to have um, syphilis the whole time? <laughs> That they did. There was a secret um, that I read about in this list of secrets you don't know about it, and there was um, makeup on his face that was supposed to look like he was slowly developing syph like syphilis was progressing throughout all the movies, and it was like a secret between him and the makeup <laughs> artist, but like nobody else had to, was supposed to know about it. And now you do. And now so I it's do. just well, now you, you know Johnny, the well, makeup artist, and, and you. you know about it now. And you, uh, yes. <laughs> hey, Justin. I said no have um, you ever, I don't have a shirt have on. Have you ever thought about how many times this um, is Tom Holland has done things that are totally adorable and prove that he's just so cute and wholesome? I because think, I thought I read of this article about like 20 times that he's these done these questions those things. and you don't want the answers. And um, the thing is, like, there was this one time where there was a joke about how he accidentally uploaded one of the whole movies because, you know, he's Spider-Man. Yeah. I haven't seen all those movies, but he, like, a joke about how he uploaded the whole movie to Twitter, but he didn't really, and he was like, oops, did I really do that? I wasn't sure for a moment. And then there's this other time where he was like... Do one while I've shaved. He, uh, he was talking to Robert Downey Jr., but it turns out the whole time he was talking to a stunt double, and he was like... that Okay, that was adorable. I gotta give it up for time with that one. There's at least 18 more times that he was adorable, I can tell you about. Well, you're running out. It says that you're running out of time. You okay, I'll tell there. you about those later. Real fast before you start working again, I just wanted to tell you that I read about um. This is on, our my work time on Law and Order SVU. <laughs> no, the, go on. The reunion of Stabler and Benson was a real success. You know, it, out. it was a real success. Yeah, I Those guess two. he was sort of doing like SVU Italy liaison for a while. Um, That's not the and name then of a show. Came back. No, it was just like plot point, and okay. then he came back. Is that a thing for because, cops? Italy um, liaison? He came back because I think Benson, whoever, Benson was getting a reward, uh, an award, and they, he, they came back, but then Kathy <laughs> Why did you read killed. this? Why did you read this? You're the mother of my children. You're my partner in life. Why would you read this? It was a real success.
So fast before we start working again, I just no. real fast. I need to tell you I'm about in the middle you know, of the there's dungeon. a show. There's a show called Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. I will take your word for and it. On the show, um, <laughs> Zoe's going to turn thirty, and I read this article about Tragic. it because um, she's not usually like one for like parties and stuff, but like her mom feels like it's an important milestone for her. This is not the answer to. I read this article because and then it's also. It's also going to be an interesting episode because the love triangle um, between Zoe and Max and Simon is going to sort of all come three, to a head. All, all three of them are in the triangle. Well, there's a triangle. There's three people in it because her and Max just can't get the timing right. And now, the, you know, you can't deny the chemistry between her and Simon. You've and ruined so your algorithm. You know it's that, It's really right? going to be... Your algorithm's it's gonna be ruined. It's going to be an exciting <laughs> It's ravished. Episode your algorithm's ruined. To see how it turns out between... The three of them. I'll be watching. Hey, I was, was mid muffin. I was just gonna tell you real quick that the um this is the one that the upcoming um crossover event, special crossover event between Station Nineteen and Grey's Anatomy. Uh, you know how much I look forward to article, this? This is like my one rock. In the I'm article gonna, I gonna, read about it, it said that it's gonna include the well, moment that we've all been hmm. waiting for. Nope, I'm not engaged. I'm just enjoying so, my life. It's gonna see. Mm -hmm. There's. It's gonna start off with this couple that's like trapped under a car, and I guess that's where Station Nineteen comes in to save Are them. Are they a fire squad? Maybe. And then after that, it will cross <laughs> into Grey's Anatomy, where the hospital <laughs> part, and um, and then the moment we've all been waiting for will happen. But I don't. Nobody knows what it is. Yet. Nobody knows what the moment we've all been waiting for is. No. Well, I mean, probably the people who've been waiting for it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, I thought we were. I wanted to asleep. tell you no. I wanted to I'm tell you real fast about um, Beck Hewitt has said that she Who? would be. She was this um, on this Australian soap opera called Home and Away from 1998 you've left to 2005. Our you've left our shores. And she, Beck Hewitt, says she would be interested in returning to TV, but if she did, she'd want to try something different, like maybe a bad girl role this time. I you don't. know. Um, I but don't, she would definitely be interested in returning to Summer Bay, which is the setting of Home and Away, if given the opportunity. Currently, she's on Dancing with the Stars Australia. You, you've got. To, are you still watching the show? To check it out. Does it sound like something you'd enjoy caring about or knowing about in any way, shape, or form? Probably not. What about me? Do you think I'd like it? Maybe. Why are you telling me? Be because she'd be interested in returning to Summer Bay. <laughs> Real fast before we got started, I just wanted to tell you that um, now, yeah, I just Is before I cut your hair, cutting moment? before I cut your hair, I wanted to tell you about how on a million little things, um, Catherine is having a really hard time dealing with the fact that Eddie is back in. It feels rehab, like an attack. And, this feels um, like an attack. She just didn't know what to tell Theo, and she didn't want to lie to him, and she was really struggling, and she got drunk, and um, I think she kissed Alan. You always look good. So That's not fair. You have to give me a moment and, to prepare. But she felt bad about it, and he felt bad about it. My hair up, and you're about to. And then also, Rome's having a really hard time because mm, his dad is thinking mm, that the pennies he keeps mm. finding around his house are from his <laughs> wife who passed away. The pennies? The pennies. And so he thinks she's sending him pennies from this heaven. Show, and it's really challenging for Rome. <laughs> this show sounds bad. This one sounds, I don't think. It's really, it. It, but it's very challenging for Rome. I know about challenging things. Trust me. Hey, Justin, are you really excited about the new Kristen Davis vehicle, Deeds? Deeds? Yeah, is it Deeds. A it's going to be Deeds? available on HBO Max. Hey, is it a sequel to Mr. Deeds? It's going to be a real departure from her Mr. character Deeds on Sex and the City. Mr. Deeds is starring Adam Sandler. It's a remake of another movie. Yeah, but this is going to be a real Joseph departure. Hell. It's about the cutthroat L.A. real estate industry. But it's and not new. It's, it's going to be really a new vehicle for Chris and Hello. Davis. I'm just happy to have her back on TV. I think we all are, Justin. I think I know I am. Hey, Justin, real quick. There was something I wanted to tell you. Trying to watch Nailed It. I know, but I just wanted to tell you, it's just a real one one thing about the voice real fast. Okay. On the voice, it sounds like on Team Nick that Andrew actually did a really excellent job with the song, but that Rain is just such a performer that Nick wasn't ready to let her go. Yours and is so, Slumdog, Slumdog Millionaire. And so Andrew unfortunately lost that. I decided. I decided. Nick this I decided week. That this part of our lives, this phase that we're in, and it is a phase, is part of a Slumdog Millionaire thing. We're like, I'm going to be on Slumdog Millionaire, the game show, 
and everything that you've told me will be important. So this is important and I appreciate it. Thank you. Rain seems to be quite the performer. Thank you. I appreciate that Rain performer voice. It's all up there. Thank you for my Slumdog Millionaire opportunity. You're welcome. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to tell you about on I know. Um, on Younger, uh, the long-awaited proposal between Charles and Liza happened, and it, it seems like it might have been kind of disappointing for people because you know the people really were rooting for this couple, but um, Charles asked Liza to marry him at uh, I believe it was at Enzo and Diana's fairy tale wedding, and she was like i need some time to think about this and then she took her, him to a carousel where they first met and you thought she was going to propose to him and instead she was like let's just be unmarried as a couple forever and um, he's just too old-fashioned i was for trying that. to be mindful do you want to know something while i was watching that i was trying to be mindful while i was watching this popsicle stick and thinking i'm just going to be in this moment to try to help with my anxiety and relieve it and try to focus on this moment i was really into washing the popsicle stick it just sounds like they're on really different pages right now Hey, hey, real quick, I had something to talk to you this about. This is a vulnerable time for me, I'm sure. Don't, don't wait I'm the children. Shirtless. I had something to talk to you about because the Baker and the Beauty was actually... <laughs> That's not real. Yes, it's a show about a baker named Daniel who works in his family's Cuban bakery. And a beauty. And Noah, who is an international superstar. And they um, meet each other. It's like a meet-cute situation. And she helps him out of a relationship that isn't really working for him. But anyway... I can relate. It was actually canceled back in june of 2020 but due to a recent increase in popularity on netflix you're back the, there's an article that's circulating about it again that was originally i think put out in april what, of last year is, is it back is it no coming it's back? not coming back but people seem to really be into the one season of it before it was canceled about this unlikely romance and um how you know she really Hey, I had something really important like, to tell you. You turn off the lights, but I basically turn it back asleep because I had something to tell this you. This is so mean about USA Today Save Our Show 2021 poll. I don't Save know our if you're marriage, aware, but it looks like the rookie is pulling ahead. <laughs> it's in its third season. It stars Nathan Fillion, and he's a rookie with LAPD. I but, love Nate. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I love Nate. He's actually. I think it's sort of supposed to be a joke because he's actually like. This is like a second career. Nate would want me him. to be asleep right now. And, um, and it looks like it's pulling ahead in it's the polls. It's so mean. I could wake up with season. Char... Like from the viewers, but you never know, you know, you never know what the networks will do. But, um... You're... The, this is the... That's all the story, right? Would you say that's the whole story? It's too late for MacGyver. It's already gotten canceled. Again? 